Hey y'all, it is a beautiful sunny day outside and we are past our last average frost date in our area. So it is time to start direct sowing some seeds. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what seeds you will be direct sowing as soon as spring is in your area. Okay, before I came out here, I this this is my seed sorting um, area of seeds that I'm working on. This basket was made by my mother-in-law. It's two together. The left side is direct sow seeds, and the right side are seeds that I will be doing um, indoor sowing with. So just to kind of give you an idea of how I divide those up and figure those out. So I've already gone through my direct sow seeds that I want to direct sow um, coming this month. I'm not going to do all of them today, but I went ahead and also made all of my plant labels for them so I'm ready to go but today I think I'm going to concentrate on we're going to try to concentrate on some cucumbers um the garden bush pickle hybrid and the cucumber Boston pickling cucumber then I also think I'm going to do these cranberry beans these are absolutely beautiful Basically, I'm looking for things that are vining plants right now that I'm gonna go ahead and get started. They're actually gonna go in these galvanized containers back here with the paddle panel trellis. So I'm gonna be starting those back there. And so cranberry beans I've been wanting to grow, not necessarily for eating, just because I think they're beautiful, basically. I mean, look at that. Those are so fun. And if they taste good, well, that's great too. <laughs> so looking forward to checking that out and seeing how those look. And then I'm also going to do the hyacinth bean, ruby moon as well. So let's get started. I don't think there are any other ones that I was looking at that were, I wanted to work over a trellis. Um, but let's get started with those four and see how far we get. Also, while we're out here, let me give you a quick check on seedlings. Struggling with my basil over here. They're not looking real good. I might go ahead and restart seeds because I'm not loving them. A lot of my ranunculus are looking really good. They're just waiting for the beds to be done so they can go in. Lots of beautiful echinacea, stock, yarrow, carnations, fever view. They all look beautiful. Bells of Ireland, yarrow, all kinds of stuff. Have a lot of my foxgloves coming up, scabiosas. Uh, let's see, over here are, oh, these are all snapdragons back over there. Lots of my violas and pansies are doing really good. Everything is looking really great. All right, let's go direct sow. Okay, so this particular galvanized container has a lot of old status in here. I don't think the status is going to come back right here, but I'm not ready to remove it yet. I want to see it perhaps a little bit warmer temperatures will get it going. However, I'm going to be planting my seeds right here. I'm going to plant three seeds, one, two, three, so that they can go up and over this trellis. I'm going to be doing the garden bush pickle hybrid here. These are planted about half an inch deep. And then I'm also going to recharge the soil with plant tone fertilizer. And then I'm going to water it in really well. Okay, I'm gonna put two seeds in each little half inch deep hole. Okay. Easy peasy, let's go to the next one. Okay, 
Okay, in this next one, I'm gonna do the Boston Pickling Cucumber. These are about half an inch deep. Okay, look at these, these are coated. So I'm gonna get six seeds. I'm gonna do three holes with two seeds each. Watered in. You guys will see, see those green shoots coming up? I don't know what they are. I did put a bunch of junk soil in here when I filled these. I don't know if these are all daffodils. That's kind of what I'm guessing, but small bulbs that I tossed in and look at that. So I didn't even mean to. In this area, I'm gonna be doing the cranberry bean. Now the cranberry bean is a bush bean. It doesn't require trellising. However, I found that on my bush, um, on my um, bush cucumbers, I've been able to trellis them anyway. So these need to be about an inch deep. So let's go ahead and get that. I'm gonna start, actually, I'll start two in, let me start two in each hole. So I'm gonna start six, so three holes with two each. And one inch deep. I just think it's good, because you can definitely feel that soil is so much more moist further down. Easy peasy. Let's get those watered. Okay, I actually ended up having some parsley end up overwintering here, which I'm shocked at. Just trimmed it back and saw all that. So it's exciting. Um, so right here, I'm gonna do the hyacinth bean, the Ruby Moon hyacinth bean. It needs to be approximately half an inch deep and I'm gonna plant two holes here. So two holes with two seeds each. These look like they're trying to come out already. Pretty, okay. All right, let's get those watered in. think I'm going to go ahead and direct seed some zinnias and Cosmo today. So I'm going to do this pink senorita zinnia, this queen lime blush zinnia, the polar bear zinnia, and oh, there it is, double click Cosmos. So basically all of these are surface so um, I usually just kind of toss them out and then make sure that I'm you know, lightly watering them on a daily basis to make sure that um, the root, that, um, that the oh, seeds stay moist. Um, so super easy uh, to just toss them out. I'm just gonna sow some small patches. I'm not gonna do like big, massive areas. I'm gonna basically sow a two foot by two foot space of each of these. Let me show you where I'm gonna do that. All right, here's one of the back gardens on the side. I originally thought that I would sow them here, but I still need to move a bunch of snapdragons that are right there. So that's not gonna work. I know that I have a whole bunch of um, 
Bells of Ireland. I have some that overwintered beautifully. I'm going to be putting some more right here. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to work a couple of patches into these areas. Maybe a cluster of white here, maybe a cluster of sweet pink senorita, queen line blush, maybe cosmos towards the edge. But I think I'm going to start with that setup and then I know exactly where to um, water. I don't want an entire thing of one type of zinnia. I do want a variety of zinnias that I'm going to be doing basically um, sowing once a month of them to keep fresh plants coming and keep the blooms coming. So let's get that done. Okay, so I've got our Zinnia Queen Lime Blush, our Zinnia Polar Bear, our Zinnia Pink Senorita, and over here I've got some Cosmos Double Click Mix. And I water those in really, really well, and I will come out here every day and douse them with some water just because we're in a drought right now. I don't have any um, significant rains in the forecast, so I'm gonna make sure that these stay nice and moist until they get going. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me direct sow seeds. It's so easy. It's so much easier than indoor seed um, work. However, I like the indoor seed work. I get a jump start on plants. It gives me something to do during the winter. But man, you can't beat direct sowing. Just so simple. Um, you just really just have to pay attention that the seed stays moist through the process. As always, she's a mad gardener or decorator. <laughs> That's my neighbor. <laughs> Okay, let's try that one more time. As always, she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.